It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking unit rate. We're going to consider both parts of a ratio as fractions, and we're going to determine a unit rate, or in this case, miles per hour. Here we go. Last week, Katerina jogged one and three-fourths miles each day for three days. This table shows the time in hours she spent jogging each day. Here's our table. Day of the week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the time that she spent jogging each of those three days. At what rate in miles per hour did Katerina jog each day? You're going to drag and drop each rate into the appropriate box. So we're going to determine of these three, which one was for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So again, you're determining the miles per hour or the unit rate given one and three fourth miles per day and this amount of time jogging. Go ahead and pause the video here and come back and hit play to see my work. Good luck. Welcome back. So we again want to understand that we're doing miles per hour. We're finding the unit rate, how many miles in one hour. We're told how many miles in each day, and we've been given three different days. So let's start with Monday. We're gonna do them one at a time. So we're just gonna focus on Monday. And we wanna know miles per hour. So we know that the miles was one and three fourths miles. Each day it was one and three fourths miles. We're told that here in the problem. And the amount of time, the per hour, we know that it took her to go one and three fourths miles on Monday took her a third of an hour. So let's bring our third here. So now we have a complex fraction because one or more of the parts of our ratio is a fraction. So we're gonna rewrite this as division. This could be read one and three fourths divided by one third. So let's do that. I'm going to write one and three fourths as an improper fraction. Four times one is four plus three is seven. So seven fourths is equivalent to one and three fourths. To multiply or divide, we cannot use mixed numbers. We need improper fractions. So seven fourths divided by one third. So in order to divide fractions, we know our rule is to multiply by the reciprocal. Some students here in school keep, change, flip. I'm not a huge fan of that because it really doesn't mean anything mathematically, but we're gonna change from dividing one third to multiplying by the reciprocal, equivalent expressions. So 7 fourths divided by becomes multiply, and the reciprocal of one third is three over one. So you flip this around. One third times three is one. So when you multiply a value by its reciprocal, you get one. So this expression is the same equivalent to this expression. So now to multiply, we're gonna multiply the numerator. Seven times three is 21, and four times one is four. We can see that these are all mixed numbers. Four goes into 21 five times, with one left over. So we can say that her miles per hour on Monday was five and one fourths miles in an hour. That was her rate. So we're gonna come up, identify that that is Monday's miles per hour. We're gonna take it from here and bring it over to Monday. So let's clear our board. And now we're gonna talk about Wednesday. So we know that on Wednesday, it took her five twelfths of an hour to jog her one and three fourths miles. So let's write our complex fraction. We're gonna do one and three fourths miles and it took us five twelfths of an hour. And we wanna know if she ran that rate on Wednesday, how far would she go in an hour? So let's rewrite this, remember divide. So we're gonna change that to our improper fraction and we're gonna do seven fourths divided by five twelfths. We're going to use our division rule for fractions and we're gonna multiply by the reciprocal. So 7 fourths change to multiplication and the reciprocal of 5 twelfths is 12 fifths. Now we're gonna multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. Seven times 12 is a big value. I see that I have common factors here. Both four and 12 are divisible by four. So 12 divided by four is three. 4 divided by 4 is 1. Now I have a simpler problem. You could multiply and then simplify. 7 times 3 is 21, and 1 times 5 is 5, so 21 fifths. 5 goes into 21 
four times with one left over. So four and one fifth is equivalent to 21 fifths. And here we have our answer, four and one fifths miles per hour. So again, if she ran the whole hour, she would have gone four and one fifths um, miles per hour. So we're gonna drag and drop that over to here and we've got Wednesday. Let's clear our space and we're gonna talk about Friday. So Friday, even though there's only one left, we're gonna check it just to make sure we're 100% correct. So we know that our miles for the day was one and one, one and three fourths miles. We're gonna write that as our improper fraction, seven fourths. And we know the amount of time spent jogging to go that seven fourths of a mile was one half of an hour. So let's write this as a division problem. Seven fourths divided by one half. And now we're gonna use our rule. We're gonna multiply by the reciprocal. So seven fourths multiplied the reciprocal of one half is two over one. I can see I have a common factor between my numerator and denominator. So two divided by two is one, four divided by two is two. Seven times one is seven, two times one is two. Two goes into seven three times with one left over. So three and a half miles per hour. And here we have it. Friday is three and a half miles per hour as her rate. And there we have it, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, all different rates. So sometimes she was jogging faster, sometimes she was jogging slower. And that is how we find miles per hour or our unit rate given each day. We're gonna write complex fraction, change mixed numbers to improper fractions, write as division, and then multiply by the reciprocal. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and come back soon.